so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We want to determine if the two linear functions are inverses of one another. We have f of x equals two x minus five and g of x equals one half x plus five halves. If two functions are inverses, then f of g of x equals x and g of f of x equals x. And graphically, if f of x and g of x are inverses, then they are reflections across the line y equals x. Let's first see if these are inverses algebraically and then we'll check the graph. Let's begin by determining f of g of x. We begin by substituting one half x plus five halves for g of x, which gives us f of the quantity one half x plus five halves. And now one half x plus five halves becomes the input into the function f, where f of x equals two x minus five, and therefore f of the quantity one half x plus five halves becomes two times the quantity one half x plus five halves minus five. And now we distribute the two to clear the parentheses and then combine like terms. Two times one half x is x plus two times five halves, that'd be plus five, and then we have minus five. Well five minus five is zero and therefore f of g of x does equal x. but we still have to check g of f of x. We begin by substituting two x minus five for f of x, which gives us g of the quantity two x minus five, and now two x minus five becomes the input into g, where g of x is equal to one half x plus five halves, and therefore g of the quantity two x minus five is one half times the quantity two x minus five and then plus five halves. So again, the next step is to clear the parentheses by distributing. One half times two x is x. One half times negative five is negative five halves, giving us minus five halves. And then we have plus five halves, which does simplify to x. So now that we've shown that f of g of x equals x and g of f of x is equal to x, we know the two functions are inverses. Let's also check this graphically. F of x is graphed in blue and g of x is graphed in red. Notice how if we were to fold f of x across y equals x, it would match up perfectly with g of x, or we can say they are mirror images across y equals x, and therefore these are symmetrical across the line y equals x and are inverses of one another. I hope you found this helpful.